This is Home Building 101 for Scoville Homes. My name is Josh Smith and I do the slab concrete work. And how'd you get into this business? My father, he started it 36 years ago and every summer I worked for him when I was a little kid. I was playing in the street, nailing nails on the road. And then I just started learning and learning and learning. So I took over his company. Um, first question is, can you describe the slab prep for us? Slab prep, you start out with just a arch and fill dirt. You gotta put our batter boards up, square the houses off of what the surveyors have. Get all the measurements right. We dig the footers with whatever the engineer has coated. So it could be up to 12 inches wide, 20 inches deep, and varies from there. And the footers that's around the perimeter? Yeah, yes, the perimeter of the whole the whole house. It's a makes the house more sturdy so it won't move or anything. So around the perimeter of the house you dig it deeper, usually around 12 feet or 12 inches deep. Yeah. So that way more concrete goes in there and yes. it's more sturdy. Yes. And then after that we wait for the plumbers. Once the plumbers come and put their pipes in, we go to step two which is grading the slab where they have their footers dug or their trenches for where their pipes go. After we get inspection we cover those up level it out to four inches thick out throughout the whole slab. Then uh, step two after that, after we grade the slab, put the plastic down after that keeps the moisture from coming up through the slab. After step three is you get compaction tests, which is checks the density in the slab to make sure it's hard enough. Because after step four, we put bar rebar in throughout the whole footer for what the engineer calls for. It goes in the whole perimeter of the outside of the house. Step five, we put wire mash down, which is six by six squares of wire. We lay it in and it helps keep the slab tied all together at home. Is the wire mesh required or is it uh... it's optional? It's optional, yeah. so it's like an extra thing yeah. they do to make the slab. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly right. um, then we, after that, we get our inspection. When we get our inspection, we start pouring concrete. That's great. Now, we saw um, some footage earlier of the slab prep, and we noticed around the pipes there's like almost like a black tar. Mm -hmm. What's the purpose of that? Just to keep the moisture out. Is what the tape wow. cover. We have to tape around them, but then they put that black core stuff around to keep the moisture out. Keep the moisture out of the pipes? Yes. It comes up through the slab. And then you put that plastic over everything to keep the moisture out as well? Yes. Okay. okay. And how is, now the concrete, you order the concrete from the company? Yes. And um, how is the concrete, is the concrete come pre mixed or did it, they mix it? They mix it at the plant. At the and, plant. Yeah, the machine mixes it through the through the top, and they put it in. Once it goes into the drum, they fill it full with water to make the right slump. The slump is where, like a four-inch slump, is real tight. Where really it come out the chute. So that's what we, that's what everyone requires for a step down. So we got to have first, and after that, once we pour our step downs with a four-inch slump, we put water in it to make it a six-inch slump pour the rest of the slab so it goes down easier. And is there different types of concrete mixes that you can use or pretty much everyone uses the same combination? You, you can get, there's different types of concrete you can get. They've, they've got some that's got pea gravel in it which is real tiny rocks. And they got commercial grades with uh, it's like 4,000 PSI. There's 4,000 pounds per square inch. It's like more of a commercial stuff. Um, for years ago, they used 3,000 psi, which is no resolution. And um, sometimes they put like fiber in the concrete. Yes. What is that? Fiber is like a. I don't know what you would call it. It's more of a. It's like the wire. It helps it keep it tied together. And um, how do you make sure that when the concrete is poured, that it doesn't get stuck to you after a day's work on your clothes? And Yes, if it's on your clothes, it's going to stay there. They won't, unless you take a bath with them and scrub it off, that's the only way you can get it off of it. 
And um, why does the concrete truck keep on turning? If you, if you don't, if you make the drum stop in the truck while he's sitting, like he's waiting on us now, so we can strip that, it's, it will set up in the truck and makes the concrete get hotter. It's like an oven inside. And um, how long does it take the concrete to dry? Mm, normally, at a six inch slump, it'll probably take, once we get done with the whole slab, we started at seven, seven this morning, and we might be done with it by about one. So we're looking at six hours, six, seven hours. What happens if before it dries, like an animal comes, like runs across the slab? <laughs> if he runs across it before it's done, we'll have to try and fix it somehow. We'll, we'll figure a way out to get out there and get it, but we're trying to prevent that. And what happens if it starts raining or it's really cold outside? If it's cold, we try and put, uh, it's called calcium in it, which helps the concrete set up faster. We've got 1% and 2%, uh, but normally we don't use it. We try not to because it costs more money. But, I mean, if it rains, we pray to God it don't rain, but if it does, we have to have this clean to cover the whole slab up. And then we'll have to, every time it stops raining for a second, we pull the plastic off, put our machine on it, grind it back in, put the plastic back down, and just keep doing that continuously until we get the stuff finished. So if you see it's going to be a rainy day, usually you'll post it on the board. Yeah, we'll get up. If I got concrete scheduled at, say, 6 o'clock in the morning, I got to get up around 3 or 4 to check the weather and see, and I got to make a call. Oh, wow. Now I see around the perimeter of the house you've got. Um, these little bars sticking up, what are those for? Those are called J-bolts. They, uh, once they put their green plate down, which is a, it'll be a two by six around the whole perimeter, they'll drill the holes inside the two by sixes and lay it down on top of the bolts. And they put a washer and a nut on it, so it helps it, it keeps the house tied down to the slab. So when they do the framing, it, it yes. attaches the framing to the slab. Yeah. And, um, cool. Well, those are all of our questions. We really appreciate your time.